I don't have the details at this moment. You know, we have marketing wing of our company. So they are just prices de depending on the market realities. And, and this is really what is happening. This is the meaning of uh, getting sure, making sure that the market regulates itself so that you know, prices will go up and sometimes they will come down also. And this is really what we are seeing. In, in, re in reality, this is how the market, market works. Uh, Talking uh, about market forces, yeah. demand and supply, does it mean we don't have enough supply for this? No, there is no supply issue completely. Uh, it is not a supply. When you go to the market, you buy the product, you come to the market and sell it at its ongoing, uh, its prevailing market price. Nothing to do with supply. We don't have supply issues. There are a robust supply. We have over 32 days of uh, supply in the in country. That's not a problem. What assurances are you giving to Nigerians? Because we are in the middle of this. Uh, what, what do you mean? What assurances are you giving to Nigerians you know, in addressing the situation as it stands? Yes, uh, what I know is that uh, the market forces will regulate the market. Prices will go down sometimes, sometimes it will go up, but there will be stability of supply. And I'm also assuring Nigerians that uh, this is the best way to go forward so that we can adjust prices when price, uh, market comes. I don't have the details this moment, but I know that our marketing wing acts just like every other uh, company in, the, in this business. I know that a number of companies have imported petroleum products to the PMS. Uh, so many of them are online. I'm sure my colleague uh, will, will confirm this. So market policies have started to play. People have started having confidence in the market and the uh, private sector people are now importing product. But there's no way they can recover their costs if they cannot take market reflective costs. All right. The GMB just made mention that market policies are in play. What does this mean for an average GMB? Well, uh, as a regulator, you know, I told you uh, back in May that we are not going to be setting price. The market will determine itself. And as you saw back in early June, when, uh, when prices came out, it was based on the cost of importation plus other logistics of distribution and of course the profit margin by the importer. This market is uh, deregulated, it's open to all participants. As I mentioned also yesterday uh, when I was in Lagos, we had over 56, or we have 56 marketing companies that applied for and obtained licenses to import. Out of those, 10 of them have indicated to supply within the third quarter, which is July, August, September. And out of those, already we received some cargoes from uh, some of these marketers Prudent Energy, uh, AOM Shafa, and uh, Emadev. Emadev cargo is arriving tomorrow. So this is like just an encouragement to see that the market is liberated and everyone is free to import so long you are working within the framework, especially in terms of quality. But the pricing, as a regulator, we are not going to put a cap on the price because we are not part of those importing. We are not a marketing company, we are just a regulator. So when you see market forces are, are working, basically what it is is that you buy, you can see the price of crude going up. A couple of weeks, a week or so ago, the price of crude was hovering around $70 per barrel. Now it's hovering about $80 per barrel. So of course, the crude price also drives the product price. You know, because uh, 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 the importers are importing, they are basing it on the cost of importation plus the freight, plus other cost uh, elements in terms of local distribution. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, Jim.